Hey guys, it's Eileen. Um, oh my gosh. So I just made a video, opened a package on the video, and then I ran out of, you know, storage space because I guess my son and daughter have been playing around with my iPad and like recording photos and videos of themselves. And they're literally like 500 photos they took of themselves just of like nothing, <laughs> like black space and, you know, um, so... I had to go delete some stuff so I could re-record and hopefully fit everything in this time. Um, let me start this time with a couple projects to share. First, this is a new layout I made um, at the Duck Pond. And this just happened March 30th, so it was just um, like a weekend ago. And um, the paper is actually from Ruby Rocket. And... Um, this is my daughter and we were at the park and there were some ducks there. So that's her kind of looking out at them and feeding them. This is a Martha Stewart flower and the flourish is from Flourish with a Bling. All of this is from Flourish with a Bling. And then I just layered some flowers and other stuff. Um, these blue flowers, these blue paper flowers are actually some older um, flowers from um, K and Company, and, um, I think that's all I wanted to say about it. So, and then I also made this card. This is Bow Bunny Paper, and I actually made it for the Bow Bunny Sketch Challenge for the card for last month, and the good news is I won. Yay! <laughs> so, um, so they're going to send me some Bow Bunny Paper which I'm really excited about because you guys know I love Bow Bunny. Um, this is their older etc. collection and I use both 6x6 and 12x12 papers because I had both. And I just punched a hole in the tag here and you know put some twine in. Um, so and the flourish again is from Flourish with a Bling. I just love their flourishes. Then I also um, Got a package from Christine at the Paper Nest Dolls. I'm making some more cards for her. So I'm kind of like her freelance designer or something at this point. Because I'm not really on her design team anymore. Because I had to step down due to some like, um, you know, some of my health issues I was dealing with and other family stuff. So, but I'm still making cards for her. Because I just love her stamps. So she sent me swagger by Fancy Pants because you know obviously the 6x6 six six side is perfect size is perfect for cards so she sent me this and um, I already kind of started opening it I'm gonna use it with this stamp how cute is this little boy so I already colored him in and these are flourish with the bling pearls and there he is on his little rocking horse so soon I'm gonna make a card with him and use this paper for it I think he'd be perfect with it. I think with like this background or something. How cute is that? Um, and she sent me another fancy pants paper pad and then the embelly pack that goes with it um, down by the shore. And it has some great colors in it that, you know, some of the patterns are kind of summery, but a lot of them are, you know, definitely usable for other things so I'm gonna I think I'm gonna use it for a graduation card I'm making with her little graduation girl stamp because it has the navy blue and everything then I also um, did a um, a shopping thing at midwestscrapbook.com which is what I had opened on a video last time and when it didn't work out so it's already out of the box so I'll just share with you what I got I got these. How awesome is this? You get 36 pieces and they come in this cute little wooden box. So when you're done with it, you can alter the box as well. Um, so you get like clocks and then like really cute clocks and um, all these like different typewriters too, which I love. So I really loved it and you get a ton of pieces too. So that's really cool. Then, not that I don't have enough of this, but I got some more, like, flourishes and bling. Um, this is ZVA. Black ones, white pearl, and just crystal. 
so I just thought they were really pretty and um, you can never have too much bling right then I also got this which I think is an awesome color and exactly what I was looking for it's called knotted wood and it's prima chalk edger because this is what I use for my page edges anyway so um, and I was looking for like a darker brown and then I also got some doilies I thought these were pretty and they're bow bunny you get 20 pieces and it was only a couple dollars so it wasn't too bad um, and these are nice for like a 12 by 12 page I wanted to get the smaller ones for cards but they were all out of them they only had the largest size left so I just got what I could and I also got a couple paper packs I got Kaiser craft needle and thread and I got Bo Bunny um, Prairie Chic and actually um, I have some happy news to share that this card I actually won the sketch challenge for the month so um, they're gonna be sending me a prize pack so I'm getting some more new Bo Bunny paper not even sure if I shared that before or not or which video I shared it in or which video I didn't so if I already said that I apologize so um, I don't know if you guys had a chance to see this paper before but I have a little time left so I'll go ahead and open it because I want to see it myself I just thought these two new collections were really pretty and whatever and cute so thought I'd get them get that oh I like the the distressed vintage edges get that this is nice for cutting out be and I love this one that's great and then um, get that also some nice elements to cut out very cute and then some nice big flowers I like the colors it's like brownish and vintage um like beiges and pinks and blues and so some more fun details a whole bunch of little spools and then some pretty pink and then just a very kind of neutral distressed background is the back not crazy about the back I'm gonna have to go with this side for sure for both of them but it makes a perfect background for um for a layout and then some letters this is a sticker sheet these are all stickers so some different stickers and oh I like that it's like little lace border and um, um oh another lace border I like that too so that's that and then the prairie chic I just really like the colors on in this collection I thought it was so pretty I hope when they send me my prize it's not prairie chic <laughs> um, I love the wood grain and actually when we just went to the park I got a lot of photos with trees and a wooden bridge and everything I got some really great photos so this would be perfect for that ooh love the bright blue I love bright colors so this is really nice I love this just so many different elements to cut out and like journaling spots nice yellow in the back very just trust I like that birds lots of nice details Ooh, some more gorgeous like grayish wood grain and some more to cut out oh man I wish I put I wish they put these on like different pages because I love this side but I know I'm gonna want to cut some of this out too so oh well <laughs> at least I have two of them hmm. some like brickwork with like birds and everything so that's cute Yay, more wood grain. Okay, well good. I was really missing that wood grain collection from my mind's eye, so 
It's nice to see other collections with it. And hexagons, that's cool. I like that. That's pretty. So like wood grain with like faux lace and pretty pink. Green plaid on the other side. This is jean. You can see it's got a jean pattern to it, like texture. That's cool. Oh, cool. More elements to cut out. I love that Bow Bunny always has so many like things you can cut out for layering. It just makes it so much easier. I love this one. And so pretty. And then a sticker sheet with letters and um, other stickers and borders. So thanks for watching. Bye.